and welcome back to White Mountains today. I have Paula Graham from Zeb's General Store joining me on the set. Good morning, Paula. Hi, Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. So glad to see you. You always bring such in inspirational food for me because, you know, you're home cooking soups with stuff that you can get from Zeb's. And I go in there if I need gifts or if I want to make something new. That's right. Um, I go into Zeb's and such quality products. So let's jump right into it because you sort of brought a theme of delicious but quick and so you can spend in holiday -ish. so you can spend more time with friends and family right. instead of being in the kitchen all by yourself so let's talk about some of the items first i'm going to do a, just a few appetizer ideas okay. for you might the buffet if somebody's having hors d'oeuvres first okay this is a stonewall this kitchen fig and walnut butter deli on fig brie and walnut. you know you I've take the brie you take the the rindy thing off and yeah. you, you Put that on it, but okay. you can put it on the crescent rolls and put it up and put it in the oven. It's just yummy, mouth-watering. Wow. Okay, how long would you cook that for? Uh, I think it's about 25 minutes. And you're talking like the dough, like yeah, those so very dough it. crescents. Yeah. And, okay, awesome. And so you kind of put, put this Put them right out in, the in a circle, put the brie, put that on top of the brie, mm. spread it on, and then you fold over the little crescents, ah. and it looks pretty. That is awesome, and what a great thing to bring to a party, too. Exactly. Not not at your house right and so. then this here the cranberry apple chutney it's a 12 ounce jar and you mix it with the 12 ounce jar of the chili sauce that you find on the ketchup aisle you know just like people used to do ketchup. grape jelly and and chili sauce little teeny hot dogs well oh, yeah, yeah, after yeah. cranberry apple chutney and chili sauce you'll never do grape jelly again really you put it in a pot and get it hot put in two pounds of frozen Swedish meatballs little mm. half ounces you'll get 64 of those and it's just the right amount for, you know, bringing to a party or putting out in right. the buffet for appetizers so for a crowd. Is this solo or do you, did you say you're going to mix it with something? Chili sauce. Oh, with chili sauce, okay. And oh, you're going to have three delicious. cups between the 12 ounce chili mm -hmm. sauce, which is a tall, thin, and the short squat jar. You're going to have three cups of sauce. Get it nice and hot, pop your meatballs into them. Great. And then that just goes on a plate. You don't yep. put the meatballs No, put them in a bowl. Anything. Right. <gasps> Yummy. Okay. Then there's a maple. So <laughs> Apple and cinnamon <laughs> spread and a maple walnut spread okay. that, you know, give me one and mind the glasses. And yeah, cream cheese, you just softened cream cheese, all the whipped cream cheese, and let it sit for a couple of hours to let the flavors meld. And it's just really nice spread mm. on bagels. or So you just do fresh fruit with this apples and you cinnamon? You could. Or? You could do fresh fruit. You could use it for toast or bagels. Mm. And maple walnut. Maple walnut. Delicious. Kelly's always healthy, the fresh fruit. And, of course, you know, we at Zeb's not healthy. We're decadent. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, you have healthy stuff. I mean, oh, we, we do. And and what I like about Zeb's is you do have a lot of the old-fashioned stuff that the ingredients, you know exactly what's on the label. It, like, really? you go in, it's yeah. not all that crazy stuff they put right. in food anymore. And these, these don't have any preservatives. Yeah. So. These are just walnuts, maple sh sugar, yeah. and powdered sugar. Yeah. So that's, those are nice ingredients. And when you buy anything like these little or... The Halliday Farms or any of our seasonings, our dip or uh, savory seasonings, go take them home, put them in a Ziploc bag, oh. and put them in your freezer to keep them fresh. In the freezer. Because if you put them in a pantry or a drawer, sometimes they get lost yeah. and they get dried out. Oh, okay. Th believe me, I had I one for five dried, years. Dried and it herbs, worked. you couldn't <laughs> dry yeah. them out even more, but you, well, you, you lose yeah. the flavor. Right. Gotcha. Okay. This here, the lobster, the lobster bisque dip mix. I brought it because some people do lobster bisque on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. especially the Italian families with the seven fishes. This, you use the whole packet to make lobster bisque. If you're not making lobster bisque, but you want a really tasty dip, seven you fishes. can use um, that for dip, and That's you'll awesome. get three or four, five dips out of it, out All of right, the package. So a dip or cooking blend, right. as you mentioned. Excellent. Yeah. Onions? Rice yeah, there's flour, no salt. seafood in it to get yeah. you, people go, oh, I'm allergic. There's no seafood in it. It's just the seasoning that brings out. Mm, seafood. Yeah. Awesome. All right. That's good. And, and then I brought some things for making desserts. The apple crisp mix. Uh, no, this is the pecan muffin, apple pecan muffin mix from the cider it's company. Heavy. And we're so sorry. The cider mill burned down yesterday. The and, barn you know, portion. Yeah, but the, the they mill. saved them uh, the other building? The restaurant's fine. Wow. But that. So Sad stuff. Yeah. Their apple pecan muffin mix, and they have a great apple crisp mix. Let's pull it right in there. Ooh, apple crisp. So you just buy the apples, peel yep. them? Follow the directions. It's a follow directions. really easy. 
<laughs> if you can read, you can eat. This is what yeah. I tell my son, the, the CFO, who used to call me when he was, you know, in graduate school and say, Ma, can you send me meatballs? I'm going to a party. And I'm going, no, I'll send you the ingredients <laughs> and some money to buy send the meatballs. Me meatballs. And <laughs> I know you can read, <laughs> so you can eat. So this is just get some butter, get a pie plate, slice apples, top with the mix. Yeah. Into the oven, 30, 40 minutes, boom. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so what's the next item? And right, as for those who don't know, you should really get in there because it is a wonderful experience getting in there. How many floors? How Two many floors? Items? Over seven thousand. Seven thousand items, and you can find them online, but not it's all a lot seven thousand no. items are online. We and crash in the internet, <laughs> and it is so much fun to get in there. You have a very long candy counter, two hundred seventy feet with multi levels. It's pretty cool stuff too. It you is. have turtles, chocolate covered turtles, milk, chocolate, dark, and chocolate, dark chocolate. Also great hosting, uh, hostess, hostess gifts. gifts. And what do we have here? This is Holiday Farms P uh, pumpkin crisp and apple crisp mix. Yummy. Just an another flavor. Okay, so this is more pie type stuff. No, apple crisp. Apple crisp. Well, what isn't that? A apple crisp is when you put the apples in the bowl and you put the thing and the, the fruit in. Uh huh. And the apples in the bowl, and then you, this is the topping, and top oh. it with butter. It's just like this mm. apple crisp mix. Top it with butter. It's That's sort of like oh, sort of like a crustless apple pie. Oh, really. I like that. Okay. You know? Yeah, because I'm not very good at making crust. I know that you probably it's like one of the most basic things. To I have do my own at home, but I know, I know a lot of people <laughs> that cheat with the That's Pillsbury, right. and they're fine. You know, and I do like the Pillsbury because yeah. it is. I can have a pie in the oven within 15 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> it works. And to that end, I brought a couple of pie Ooh. fillet. Fill Low sugar, so, even. Yes. Nice. These are out on the limb, and there's no sh very there's no sugar added to these. Wow. I know blueberry sounds like a summer pie, but my mom mm -hmm. always knew. She always on the Thanksgiving and Christmas buffets had a blueberry pie because it was my favorite. Oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> like, thanks, ma. <laughs> yeah, that warmed up with a little bit of vanilla ice cream. Yeah, can't beat it. Right. Awesome. And All even right. if it, yeah, it's just uh, these are great, and they're handy, and they'll do a nice. This, pie. this looks like it would be great just on ice cream itself, too. Right. And this <laughs> here, we can use that with this outrageous this apple dessert. Um, this is just it's a little seasoning packet in there. And you use one and a half teaspoons of that, some confectioner's sugar, uh, whipped cr eight, little eight ounces of whipped cream cheese, and that mix. And then you stir the apples into it. So you could use these apples, oh. you know, are just, a, a, and is it calls for, for apple pie filling. And it's a sort of a dessert dip. Wow. Apple okay. dessert dip. And you could ginger snaps or vanilla wafers are Ooh, good with the apple. Snaps. Ginger snaps with the outrageous Warm pumpkin. Warm gingerbread cookies. Oh. And here's, and this will do, um, I, how many do you get out of this? Can, Not just one. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure. It's, Let me take a peek. I know. On my sample one that they sent me to make it, and both of them are going to be in Zeb's today for you to sample. Uh, we made them today. Oh, made them last it. night for today. Um, oh, yeah. I think you can do four out of each of these. Oh, okay. Thing. And these basically are the same mixtures. Oh, so if you buy one and you go, which one do I want to buy? And you only want to buy one because you're not going to be making them every Sunday. Just that's fine. You can use the same spices, same recipe. Just use either the pumpkin, the pumpkin can of pumpkin pie, or yeah. the. Pie filling, oh, the pie filling, or the apple filling. Good. All right, and you can spoon over chocolate cake, pudding, ice cream, oatmeal, and pancakes. Spread it over cinnamon raisin yeah. bagels. Lots of great ideas yes. there. And here's another apple crisp, one, another <laughs> smaller apple crisp from, made by Zebs. Uh, and this has Zibs. everything you need? Yeah, except, except the, the apples. apples and awesome. the butter. Okay. Easy enough yeah. and great gift. Look at that mm -hmm. cuteness. Good. I brought some maple apple drizzle. That's great over mm. ice cream or frozen yogurt. And if you make these no-bake cheesecakes with cream cheese and Cool Whip, or we use whipped cream over there. Wow. And you can make it as sort of a firm refrigerated no-bake, but then you can pour it over. You can also put it, scoop it into little um, muffin tarts. Yeah, yeah. Muffin, or little like mini cheesecake. Mini cheesecake things and that over it and it's just just delicious and it's really 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 easy i mean that your, your, your daisies and brownies in the girl scout world could make these or your little younger boy scouts yeah. if they teach them cooking yeah i'm sure they do yeah. and the kids could make that easily and then and you can do a creamy version as well yeah too wow and pour it into a pie shell yeah 
Nice. And we have cheesecake. Right. And I, maple apple drizzle goes really nice. Mm. Lead with that. And I'm sure you could add different seasonings too if you wanted to make, you know, different flavored cheesecakes like a snickerdoodle or something oh, like honey, that. Oh, honey, we have packages of that. Like, <laughs> here's the double we get chocolate. Packages. <laughs> Just in case you have a chocoholic at the thing. Yeah. And the pumpkin cheesecake mix also. Okay. Lots of mixes. And again, this is stuff that you can make ahead of time or you oh, can yeah. make quickly. So you can spend time yeah, with like that. 20 minutes yeah, tops for most of them. I love them. it. I brought some sea salt caramel sauce from sea um, oh. Stonewall Kitchen. It's just <laughs> nifty on anything. I make mm. macaroons, and if people are from Boston and they're my age, they'll remember Gilchrist macaroons. Gilchrist was a department store that was famous for its macaroons. Ah. They flattened them. They put a maraschino cherry in them. Huh. I do mine with the ice cream scoop, so they look like little snowballs. And then when they're cool, I pour this or chocolate oh sauce over goodness. them for a really decadent dessert. So when are we eating? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Paula's house is the best at holidays. And Indian pudding. Like pudding. Nobody else. Indian we pudding. Have it. We have a little um, package that is you that can... Is like rice pudding? The seasonings. Um, no, it's Indian more pudding. cornmeal, molasses, and that's really um, a traditional New England. The, mm. I believe that the Native Americans taught the pilgrims how to make it. Oh. That and ice cream, it's one of my neighbors, it's his favorite dessert, so really? you okay. always make sure to have it on hand. This is uh, same as the first settlers on Maine's coast, traditional dessert, wholesome ingredients, we like that, molasses, mm -hmm. yum. Yeah, no artificial ingredients, GMOs or MSG. Right. It's perfect. Okay. And then we have some dessert coffees. I didn't bring the pound, dessert a half pound bag, so these, these, each of these packages makes a 12 cup pot. Pumpkin spice or eggnog. Ooh, yummy. And I believe we have them both in decaf also. Uh, do you drink coffee? Do you have a favorite? I have decaf. You have de Well, you said you I have do decaf, decaf flavors, too. Yeah. So what's your favorite decaf um, flavor? I'm not sure. Yeah. So, well, some people aren't into flavored, and some yeah. people really get into the holiday spirit. Yeah, I They can't wait for the pumpkin. Yeah, I don't really need the flavor in the coffee yeah. with all the desserts. Yeah. And then we have mulling spices, a couple of different varieties. That's from Victoria's. Mm. This is from Halliday's in Vermont. Now, this is stuff that you can make an actual drink out of, or is this something you simmer on the stove? You simmer it on the stove. In, we do um, cider or apple juice mm. is really good. Apple, apple juice. juice it, 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 yeah, the cider sometimes is thick, and, and the organic cider yeah. is in that right. cloudy. Um, so we use apple juice when we do it in the store. Mm. And we do it, keep it on the stove. We keep refilling the pots. But you can also do red wine. I've uh, my fa dad was Norwegian, mulled so wine. they do a lot of mulled wine hmm. in Scandinavia. And that's just a spiced wine. Yeah, and you see the cardamom in there and all of that. The all the winter. looking. Yeah, all the winter. Or is that anise? It, it could be that too. I think the cardamom is a, bub, a bud. Oh, very cool. But whatever yeah. it is, it's, it's yummy. It's smell delicious It's a too. great, great. Make the house smell nice. Yep. And cider mulling, yep. more mulling spices. Yeah. It just right. works, and that makes kids like that. Yeah, and it's nice because you don't have to buy eight spices. You can come right. and get a pack and yeah. create a rumble. All right. And and for the kids and adults who have celiac, I brought a couple of Stonewall Kitchen gluten-free uh, desserts. The brownie mix, and what was the other? Chocolate, Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. You know, we have a lot. Of, and you'd be surprised how many um, products in Zeb's are gluten-free. I have to update. It was three pages long. I have to kind of shrink the and kind of make it on an right. easier, try to laminate it and have it on two sides, columns, and <laughs> give them a magnifying glass. <laughs> right. Like most of our salsas are, all of our Zeb salsas are. Yeah, all great. You know, a lot of the Stonewall That provides are. a lot of good options for folks that can't yeah. partake of the gluten. You know, our fudge, except for the Oreo cookie, you know, Wonderful. We, we try to cater to everybody. This is awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Paula. And oh, folks, you can find Zeb's right on Main Street and online at zebs.com. That's right. And um, we're Thank right across from the railroad station. I just want to say hey, Thanksgiving to my mother. Yes, I won't get absolutely. to see her. Hi, Ma. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving <laughs> Hi, down Mom. in so good old selfie. <laughs> I won't see you, but I'll be talking to you. And my heart's with you. I love you so much. Oh, that's nice, Paula. Thank you so much Thank and you. happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll be back with more here on White Mountains Television.